Live, that's fine. Everybody's probably getting out of work right now. What's up, John? Hey, John. Lucas. Your hey, dad. Dad. Lisa. Hey, Lisa. James. Hey, James. Oh, I guess we did do the right thing by going earlier. And yeah, we'll just do it, and then uh, if people come in, uh, awesome man, Chris, go blue. Uh, we'll just hey, ping. What's up, old Campsack Park? peep Anthony <clears throat> so we were in Grand Haven today and we went out by the pier and walked around town a little bit and then we went into a candy store that was out there and they had these hotties they're called Jolly Rancher makes them I don't think they'll be hot but we wanted to try them because I've never even heard of these there's a uh, Watermelon cayenne pepper, blue raspberry sriracha, cherry habanero, and green apple ginger. I think the cherry habanero sounds like the best one. Yeah. But uh, the cayenne one sounds interesting. Watermelon cayenne, blue raspberry sriracha, cherry habanero, green apple ginger. And like I said, we don't expect these to be hot. Yeah. They're just We just want to have a little bit of that flavor in them so that... It's something different. Yeah. Um, and then the real reason why we're here is uh, Carson and Brenda came to the mall yesterday. Uh, my work is in the mall, my little optical shop that I work at. Uh, and they found the Blazing Foods. I, I found that in um, one of the stores. FYE for your entertainment, the store. And it's the Blazing Foods, Carolina Reapers. Uh, we did both the one and two Death Nut Challenge. Uh, it wasn't horribly bad. The last one was on the second edition, volume two or whatever, was pretty bad because it had the 13 million uh, capsation crystals on the peanuts. These are probably going to be like the first one on the Death Nuts. That's what I'm thinking because it says they're made with Carolina Reaper pepper mash. So. We just figured we'd try the pe the uh, Carolina Reaper pep, uh, peanuts. Man, I can't even talk. I, I think I was in the sun a little bit too long today. So with my schedule, my weekend is usually in the middle of the week. I'm usually off on Wednesday and Thursday, and then on the opposite weeks when I work Sundays, I get... Um, when two days off so I usually take Wednesday Thursday off and then when I do not work Sunday which I will not this next Sunday I only have uh, the one Wednesday off so that's my two days off is Sunday and Wednesday next week oh yeah it looks like the first one in the um, death nut challenge same company makes the death nut challenge the blazing foods what's up Sarah Hope everybody's having a good uh, middle of the week. You got a nice big crusty one here. Look at this sucker. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't expect them to be super hot. Yeah. So we'll give them a whirl. And we'll, we'll eat a few of them and see how bad they are. Really big ones too. They have really good flavor. Uh -huh. You definitely get a little bit of that burn, a little bit of Carolina Reaper burn in your back of your throat. It's not an uncomfortable burn. It's very like, like barely a two, I would say. Same here. Um, what's up, Russ? Uncle Russ? John? Um, it doesn't get your. It's barely a two. Barely a yeah. two. Yeah. I'm going to say a good one and a half, maybe. Same here. Someone that doesn't eat hot stuff, this would probably be like a five or a six for them. Because, again, it is made with the Carolina Reaper pepper mash. Um, and it's the same company that makes the Death Nut Challenge. We did both volume one and volume two. 
So it's like the number, the first one that you get in the challenge. So yeah, you can definitely get a little bit of a throat burn, but yeah, like I said, it's got more flavor than anything. Yeah, I can eat these as like a snack oh, yeah, because yeah. I'm so used to. I'm so used to that. I would compare it to the uh, like the ghost pepper pocky chips. It's not here. You go. Thank you. It's not super uh, like. Oh god, that's hot. You know, it's not that hot. Really good flavor. Yeah. It's almost like a glaze that they put on them. Yeah, I noticed that myself. It's real creamy. So when you get through that sugar glaze that's on these, use your smell of vision It's like a Krispy Kreme donut, and then it gets hot. Um, yeah, it's like the first peanut in the Death Nut Challenge, so... It's got heat, but I call it like Pocky Ghost Pepper Chip heat. Yeah, same. Someone yeah. that doesn't like hot stuff, they'll probably be like five or six on the one to ten heat scale. It's barely a two for us. Like I would say, like one and a half. Uh, but like I said, really good flavor. I mean, I could eat these as a snack. Same here. So we went out to uh, Grand Haven today, out by Lake Michigan, and. Uh, Super nice weather today in Michigan. And I think it's like in the Midwest, it's like that nice today. So mid 70s, perfect. You could like, when you're rolling through town, just have the windows down. When you get on the freeway though, you probably want to have your air going. They um, had, um, and when we found the Jolly Ranchers, uh, we found this really uh, big candy shop and that's where we found. Yeah, those look interesting. The hotties. hotties. Jolly Jolly Rancher Rancher hotties. Jolly Rancher hotties. So, I'll go over the flavors because some of you guys just bumped in here. Uh, watermelon cayenne pepper. Blue raspberry sriracha. Cherry habanero, which I think I'm looking forward to the most. Yeah. And then green apple ginger. I'm actually gonna, we might as well just try one since yeah. we're already doing a video. Uh, if you guys wanna buy these though, they have them at, at most stores. Uh, some even, uh, some of my friends on here, Chili Heads, like Christian uh, Jokila, I think is his last name, um, says they have them at Cabela's, or Bass, the Bass Pro Shop. Uh, again, they're made by Blazing Foods. They're the ones that make the Death Nut Challenge. Him and I, Carson and I, compared them to the uh, first level of the death nuts and um and you, you can also find uh these guys in specialty stores right and you can even order there's a gift kit i saw online that's like 50 bucks free shipping comes with a t-shirt uh sorry there was a phone call that came in there i thought i had my phone turned off uh t-shirt the death nuts both of them and then this bag and along with uh i think there's like a super hot jerky or something in there so i'm gonna go for the cherry habanero what one are you gonna do the um, watermelon the cayenne same. try something different so we can yeah. both we can both kind of say what we got that's the one i got i think see if that watermelon, watermelon one. yeah the watermelon cayenne that's blue yeah, raspberry that sriracha yeah that's See how this is. I don't think sriracha is hot though, but. Oh, yeah. See if really? they got watermelon in here. Here it is watermelon cayenne. Ah. <laughs> so, this is the cherry habanero. And cherry is my favorite flavor, by the way, for. Um, what's up, Carl? Go and blue. This is the watermelon Can. cayenne. Yeah, cherry habanero and uh, watermelon cayenne. So they had these out in Grand Haven at, um, it was like a specialty candy store. So let's give her a whirl. So either they really did put that in there because I, all I taste is cherry right now. Yeah. 
I really only taste the watermelon flavor right now. Okay. Um, malic acid? Is that what they get for heat? Mm. Some natural flavors. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe they put a little bit of, tiny bit of pepper flavor. Maybe like yeah. a, a drop of extract or something. Yeah. It's not, it's not hot though. No. The uh, peanuts were far hotter than those. So. Yeah. Wow. I can smell his watermelon too. It's like strong, super strong. Um, what's up, Leanne? I'll just wave at everybody that's come in here. Uh, yeah. So, super short one today. Again, this is the Blazing Foods Carolina Reaper peanuts. You can buy them at Fye, which is uh, for your entertainment store. You can get them at Bob's or Bass Pro Shop, whatever it's called. Uh, what's up, Bridget? And I would compare them to like the first level of the Death Nuts. Um, they're more sweet than they are hot. They have a really good, like a, I call it like a Krispy Kreme glaze on them. Yeah. So these would be like great just for like a snack, just to sit down and eat like a handful at a time. And not much else is going on right now. We are um, halfway through summer, unfortunately. I don't ever want summer to end. My nose is running a little bit, but I think that's from... I had, like, chili earlier, and I think chili even, like, triggered my nose to run. My sinuses are kind of going crazy right now. But uh, we hope you're all having a good week. We wanted to come and do a quick one today when um, I'm on my two days off here. Today and tomorrow. What's up, Jim? What up, Jim? So, we figured we'd do a quick review of the Blazing Foods Carolina Reaper peanuts. Again, they're made with the Carolina Reaper pepper, the Carolina Reaper pepper mash. So, they're about Pocky Ghost Pepper hot. They're not super hot. For a non-chili head, they're going to you know go in the 5-6 range. Maybe higher. I don't know. Some people seem to think that things are super hot and they're not. And the Jolly Rancho Hotties, which I will say it's not, just tastes like regular yeah. Jolly Ranchers to me. All I taste is Cherry Jolly Rancher. That's it. So that's a little bit of a letdown on these. They just marketed badly. Uh, they had to put list names of peppers on there to say that they're spicy, but they're not spicy at all, guys. You guys, anybody can handle that. Um, we have done everything from fresh peppers to tinctures to extracts. Um, the biohazard, chips. yeah, that we've done the chips. The the tincture is probably the hottest thing that we've done. The biohazard, along with the uh, uh, what was it called? The um, the end. The end was six million, but that had a like a little different taste to it. Um, there's another one, another extract that we did that was like felt like more than the end. I can't think of it right now. Um, Satan's blood. We did. We did the evil, wick, wicked, something. It was the two million Scoville dripper. Yeah. I actually touched my corner of my eye with after putting the cap back on that dripper, and there was some of that capsation extract, and it, like, burned me for, like, four hours. What's up, Chase? Another, another thing we've done in previous. There's Denny. Denny's uh, pretty much responsible for all the first few episodes we did. He did uh, supplied us with all kinds of crazy... Uh, pucker butt stuff. We've like, also done the chocolate bar. Mm-hmm. The hot chocolate bar. Yeah, there's no pepper flavor at all. No. In these uh, hotties, Jolly Ranchers. No, not at all. Uh, Carson did the watermelon cayenne pepper. I did the cherry habanero, it's called. Yeah. But it's just straight, tastes like a cherry Jolly Rancher. It's, I don't taste, I don't taste nothing except a Jolly Rancher. So, like I said, 
short video today just wanted to pop in here say the blazing uh carolina reaper peanuts are amazing they have great flavor not hot some of you people might think they're hot but it's like a one and a half for carson and i really good flavor think of a crispy cream donut and then it gets a little bit spicy after you get the glaze off it very yeah. very good flavor and it's um it's not too bad once it gets spicy it's I did these are so good I could probably eat this as a snack. Right? Uh yes. Uh your teacher, Teresa. I was growing my beard out and then my boss, my regional boss, came to see my store yesterday. So I was just cleaning up the stragglers and I actually I made a mistake and went <clears throat> took off a whole chunk on one side, so I had to like trim it down to um just stubble. So that's what happened to my beard. But, uh, yeah, I don't feel like I got any sun. I think it's just the way this light is above us. But yeah. We uh, went out to Grand Haven today, and it was a good time. Brenda, yeah, it was. Brenda and Carson and I walked on the pier a little bit, or on the channel, I'm sorry, and then went up to some of the stores and the businesses and then we ate before we came back into town and it was a small museum almost kind of like a walkthrough of like michigan history i just got took a little bit walked around he got a little sidetracked his mom had to go after him in a minute but um yeah i know um we like it out in green haven a lot my parents uh lived out there for a little bit and they ended up having to move back here uh, years ago. They, my mom went through some stuff uh, with not too much of a story on that, but uh, she had brain surgery and we're glad that she's still with us. So yeah. they're now back in the Comstock Park and it's a little closer for us anyways when we want to go visit them, so. Yeah. But uh, hey, Lisa, hope all is well. Yeah, you guys can probably see it in my neck. And then even in just my arms, I'm like dropping weight super fast right now. My I'm... inches in my waist, I think I've gotten three inches lost now. So I need a belt. I'm starting to kind of get a tan as you kind of see in my arms. I'm not sure if the camera shows, but. <laughs> I'm sure he's going back out there with his grandfather tomorrow. So he'll probably get more sun yet. Uh, Brenda and I, and Carson have a doctor appointment in the morning, and then I'm not sure what Brenda and I... Well, Brenda and I have to go and get my ghost pepper plant. Mitchell Owens has a ghost that's, like, got pepper pods on it already, and I was supposed to go get it. There was a miscommunication on my part. I didn't realize he wanted us to go and get it at his house and bring it back here and grow them. I thought he was just letting me know that he was growing peppers for us again, like he did last year. All our peppers, almost all of them, aside from Denny Porter, uh, and then some of the stuff from uh, Doug Canada and Jay Savage. Uh, Mitchell Owens did a lot of our growing peppers for us. He did a lot of habaneros, a lot of fruit um, baskets of fire. Yeah. Those little red ones that about lit us up. Uh, and then the obviously the ghost pepper and the Carolina Reaper that Mitchell grew for us that we both completely burned our faces off with. Those baskets of fire, they, they, they may be small, the peppers out, but don't, don't get them long. They will burn you. Yeah, and I think Mitchell's right. He said those things, all his peppers have a ton of placenta, which is where all the heat is. Heat's not in the seeds, guys. The seeds are inside the placenta, so that's why they get all that oil on them from the placenta. But that placenta inside the pepper is where all the heat is. We did those little baskets of fire. They're like that big, and they're like, I'm not even joking, like 200, 250,000 Scovilles, which you're talking is, is hotter than a regular habanero. So, and keep in mind, uh, a regular bottom of the barrel jalapeno is gonna be between like five and 8,000 Scovilles, that's nothing. So, the, so those, the point is, when it comes to peppers, size doesn't count. It's the, it's the uh, unit, the Scoville unit it has. Yep, and then for Guinness Book to recognize something as the hottest or the biggest or smallest or whatever, 
has to come in so many times in those certain ranges. So with heat, a ghost pepper for at one time in like 2012, it was considered the hottest pepper in the world. And that's because it came in between 800,000 Scovilles and 1.5 or 1 million. So it had to come in so many times of testing uh, with that Scoville unit measurement. Uh, and it's like one uh, molecule of water to dilute the heat in a pepper. So 8,000 water molecules or whatever for a, to extinguish the heat from jalapeno. Whereas a ghost pepper, you're talking 800,000 to a million or so. Carolina Reapers double it can be a two and a half million, which is double a ghost pepper. That's why we were both like sick for 12 hours after we ate a ghost pepper, a Carolina Reaper. But uh, yeah, anywho, like I said, things are going good for everybody, I hope. And we are going to go get that ghost pepper plant that's in a pot. Uh, like I said, it's already got pods on it from Mitchell's house tomorrow. We will probably take some pictures of it or maybe get it on our next video and we'll show how you take care of plants we'll do a little educational thing uh, thanks everybody that follows us and if you did get a chance go to our youtube channel flaming hot bros mark and carson eat hot stuff love you guys peace out flaming hot fans